Guys, today we're going to Bush Gardens for Hollow Screams. Tonight is opening night. Tickets are only like $30. They're not doing any haunted houses this year, but they're doing like 10 scare zones. Let's go see how safe it feels compared to Universal and Disney. All right, let's go. All right, we're here. We're going to get our temperature check. Oh, so they do the automatic temperature check right there with a the thermal imaging. Okay, that was quick. That was <laughs> we literally just walked by the camera and that was it. And right, look what they did to them. <laughs> their lion. They put a mask on them. Oh, that's great. Okay, so tonight is opening night. It's been a year since I've been here. They have hand sanitizer stations everywhere. They're just the pump ones. We just checked in. And I said we can't take them off and there's no re-entry. So I haven't been to Busch Gardens in probably a year. This is my first time back since the opening. So they invited me back for media today. They gave me a little credit card holder for my phone case, hand sanitizer, a sampler card so we can try all the food. And then my personal favorite thing, they gave us a mask. So let's put this thing on. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it, it feels a lot like the Universal one. All right, so one of the other offerings that they're having is the Busch Gardens Beer Fest. They have hand sanitizer stations like every 20 feet. Uh, so close, but so far away. The Iron Guazi. It's supposed to be open by now, but I think it's spring 2021 now. And then over here, they have a dedicated hand washing station. Perel right there. It's the pump hand wash station. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. There's like wear your mask signs every like 10 feet. Hand washing stations. Honestly, I came into Bush Gardens a little skeptical of how they were gonna handle this whole worldly matter, but everything looks pretty good. Okay, let's enter into the beer fest. I believe last year this whole area was a scare zone. They have all sorts of little booths everywhere. I like this, they have like fake little hops. All right, I think the first place we're going is the pub grub. They have social distance like spray paint markers all the way up to the register. Before you pick up your order, they have hand sanitizer for you right there. Again, these signs are literally everywhere. Alice and I want to get the bike and slider. So it's bacon and onion jam, smoked cheddar, and a herb mayo. Okay, you guys know how I hate pickles, so these suckers are coming off. All right, it's a little messy. It almost looks like a sloppy joe with that onion and bacon jam on it. I like everything. The patty's just a little dry. I like the bacon, onion, jam on it, and the, the herb mayo is really good. But yeah, the patty's just, it's nothing special for a bison burger. All right, we just finished, uh, I'd give it a six out of 10. It, it was really filling. They have a nice little beer fest picture wall. So you can get a little sampler, lanyard. The one that we have is the 12 item one, so that costs us 60 bucks. Our tickets start at five o'clock, but they closed everything at six o'clock, so we can't even use this. And just like that, the gates are all shut. Now, one of the things that people really don't talk about about Bush Gardens is all the animals that they have. It's almost like in Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, look at all the little penguins swimming. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? What's up, little buddy? Oh, you showing off for the camera? Oh, you waving to everyone. It's gonna be the lawnmower scare zone. Very ferocious. If you've seen the happening, this should scare you a little bit. SeaWorld does this too. It's the official uh, mower of the theme park. And now you know, bad boy is the official mower of Bush Gardens. We're gonna do Tigris. This coaster scared the crap out of me last year. The entire queue, again, social distance. They have these signs and markers everywhere throughout this park. It's almost like they went overkill on it, but why not? God, I'm so scared! Oh, oh my god, okay. We're going backwards, we're going backwards, we're going backwards, we're going! shaking my arms are shaking oh it's so good i love that ride so much but it's so terrifying it's seven o'clock here comes everyone later i'll, I'll, I'll have to set up a, I'll, I'll set up a play date okay not the cabbage patch kid no oh god <laughs> That is the stuff of pure nightmares right there. Vanicula with a chainsaw. That little girl hiding behind the bush got me so good. I wish I had the camera on. She was just chilling right there. And I was distracted by him and she just popped out. Now it's interesting because like Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, they have two houses only, no scare zones. And here at Bush Gardens, they have no houses, but only scare zones. I believe there's 10 scare zones this year throughout the entire park. But it's currently seven o'clock and the madness has already started. They have all this like low bass, like 
Hans Zimmer type of like music. A ball. They are offering monster makeup right here. It can blend in with a mask. I wonder if they offer you the mask with it. A washable mask included. Okay, so they give you a mask and they paint over. That's really cool. All right, so there's accessories that you can buy and then these are the masks. That's a very interesting idea to have like pre-painted masks and they just paint the top of your head. There's a character hiding in the ticket booth. <laughs> you look wonderful today. You look wonderful. Thank you. So <laughs> But, oh my god! <laughs> this is the best of a nightmare. Wait for this, wait for this. <laughs> I think it's really unique how they're finding a way to social distance from the guests. Okay, I see a guy crawling out of a bush right now. We're going into Lycan and Landing. I think that means werewolf. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Allison hates chainsaws. <laughs> oh. Oh, he is creepy. Oh, right, a PT Cruiser is very scary. One of the ugliest cars ever made. Beware of dog. I don't know what type of dog that is. Oh, oh. oh. We're going into the Day of the Dead scare zone. And they have all these signs up saying, stay six feet apart. They have a really cool Instagram wall of like neon skulls that we got a picture next to. I think Bush Gardens has the upper hand because there's so much foliage here that the scare actors are just popping out of nowhere. You don't see them coming. Yeah, they're in full, they're in full on like ghillie suits in the bushes right now. If you look really close, there's <laughs> oh. holy, holy <laughs> people are people are running. They're literally laying down in a ghillie suit in the bushes, scaring the crap out of people. It's so good. I think somebody's in there. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> My heart is pumping. Oh, I'm pretty stressed out right now. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> oh God. Okay, we're going to the junkyard, it's like a scare trail. It says, please stay six feet apart. Welcome to the junkyard. I think this was the, the like the hell motel last year, but they turned into a scare zone. So the little scare zone for the junkyard, they pulse the groups through so that there's no clumping. Practice safe social distancing. The length of a six foot alligator. We're gonna go to the cupcake corner. I wanted to try the Angry Orchard Delight. So it's got a gummy worm, red velvet crumble, Angry Orchard infused icing, and a spiced apple cake. We got the gummy worms on top. It tastes like an apple crumb cake. All right, now that cupcake, I'd probably give around a seven out of 10. It was good. So we're gonna try the food now at the Coke Canopy. This big thing. All right, so we're gonna get the griddled cheesecake, fresh baked pound cake topped with a deconstructed cheesecake topped with raspberry beer glaze. This has got raspberry sauce on top. It's like pound cake. It's an interesting taste. All right, and then I'm gonna get the Cuban dog, so fresh grilled all beef hot dog topped with pulled pork, chef's Sam Adams infused special sauce, a coleslaw, a machismo cheese, and pickled chips. Oh, here we go. I don't know which way to go. Oh, yeah, Joey Chestnut over there, hot dog eating competition. How is it? Mmm, I got a whole pickle. All right, that hot dog was so good, I'm gonna go try the other one. Uh, the next hot dog I'm gonna get is the Smoky Dog. So it's a fresh grilled all beef hot dog topped with smoked brisket, Sam Adams infused barbecue sauce, cheese, and pickled chips. Oh man, 
These hot dogs are both very, very, very good. I would honestly give this a nine out of 10. And it's a nice juicy hot dog. So we're gonna have the shortcut scare zone. So there's a huge line now. So they do have team members spacing us all out about six feet apart from each other. All right, here's the sign, the shortcut. So they have the queue weaving through the Skyliner queue. Oh, here we go. All right, again, they're pulsing everyone through, so we have to wait our turn. So we're gonna pop out. Oh God! The last markings of the ancient one to rule in the ones they worshiped to be shut down. Oh, oh God! Okay. <laughs> Salvation will be had and your soul will be ours. That was a really fun one. But they're missing an opportunity having all these booths open during hollow screens. Because people love to eat and they love to drink when they're getting scared. They've transferred some of them into just liquor stands, but not the beer festival food, just shots. We opened that little cart where we got uh, the bison burger earlier. So we're gonna be going to the Fiend stage show. I've never seen this show before. Okay, they set up a whole stage right there. Okay, warning. Language, adult subject matter, scantily clad performers, and sexual content. Sounds like a Cardi B music video. Dr. Frankenstein is missing. Last scene celebrating the end of a world at Frankenstein Castle. Dr. Frankenstein's whereabouts have been unknown for months. Just where is the doctor? Has he been in quarantine like the rest of the monster world? Oh my God. Or has he fallen prey to something? quarantine party the fiends and i figured you'd be lonely cooped up all by yourself so we threw you a surprise ranger have you all gone mad we're supposed to be social distancing this is not the time to be throwing parties We just finished. I really enjoyed that show. It reminded me of the Universal Bill and Ted show meets Academy of Villains meets Magic Mike. Definitely 18 and plus to watch the show. It had a lot of good jokes, but uh, yeah, definitely not for kids. All right, we're heading out and look at all these dope projections they have on the building. So even exiting the park, they have scare actors. Oh. More scare actors right there, creeping us out. He's got a key. Oh. There's more scare actors. It's like they're walking through another scare zone, leaving the park. <laughs> Who's coming after you? There's a little dog right there barking at all the scare actors. Oh, there he is, yeah. <laughs> and everybody's trying to leave at once. And there's just this huge crowd now. Look, there's a scare actor chasing this girl on the line right now. And they're seating each party every other row. We're about to ride the tram. We have about an hour long ride home, so I'll talk to you all when we get home. Now guys, we are at home now. I have a lot to talk about with you all. But Alice and I had a great time getting spoopy. Spoopy! 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 Um, actually... It's pronounced... Spoopy! Be oh, too spoopy for you. For spoopy seventeen, you spoopy. Sorry, Chris. I'll make sure to say it right the next time. But uh, the spoopy T-shirts are still on sale from last year. Link will be down in the description. Okay, let's talk about everything, man. Wow, tonight was crazy. Let's first talk about the scare zones. I was honestly very impressed. 
Now, imagine walking through Animal Kingdom with all that foliage and those hidden nooks and crannies, but you throw in a couple hundred scare actors and that is what Bush Gardens was. The actors stayed far enough away from the guests and if the guests did get close, then they backed up. Every single scare actor was wearing a mask and the masks that they were wearing were themed, so it really didn't take you out of the moment, which I really enjoyed. Whatever that trail part was where everyone was in a ghillie suit, it almost felt like Seeds of Extinction, the house from Halloween Horror Nights a couple years ago. The scare actors did great and you could just tell they're having so much fun. The employees there were amazing. Like, it was a breath of fresh air uh, interacting with like theme park employees who were just genuinely like happy and like they were dancing and having fun with us. Like, if you go to other theme parks, uh, the other employees are very stressed because their supervisors watching every single move that you're making and I feel like they're not able to have as much fun as they used to. But the Bush Gardens employees, Alice and I had a blast interacting with. Some of the streets were like haunted trails and what you did, you kind of waited in a line. There's an employee spacing everybody out six feet and then they pull you in so that you weren't all clumped up with another group. So Allison and I pretty much like walk through the, each trail like just alone. And there was tons of police officers and managers everywhere to make sure there was no riffraff or if anybody got too intoxicated, they shut that down immediately. Sometimes when you go to Halloween Horror Nights, it's, it's, mm, it's interesting. You'll see a lot of things during those nights. Now, Busch Gardens doesn't have the extreme budget that Universal does, but they did the best with what they had and I really enjoyed it. And again, guys, $30. You know what costs $30? A mediocre movie based on a animated classic. The ticket allowed us to get in from five till midnight, that is seven hours of theme park experience. And they had all the roller coasters open, so we were able to ride tons of roller coasters that night. Again, for $30, I think that was one of the best theme park deals ever. It was also a breath of fresh air because lately the capacity of the theme parks have been increased and they've all just become a madhouse here in Orlando. Theme parks are not what they used to be. They're no longer slow. So it was really nice to walk through Busch Gardens. Uh, they limited the amount of tickets that were sold and the capacity so that you could just enjoy the experience. But it was nice that I didn't have to fight through a giant crowd shoulder to shoulder with people. The Hollow Scream stuff I enjoyed. Now, the negative stuff. If you've ever been to Busch Gardens, it's kind of convoluted with how the map layout is and there weren't any maps for us to look at. Um, I asked some of the managers if they were like QR codes that I could scan and to look for a map and it, they didn't really have them. So pretty much Alice and I just kind of wandered around just running into the scare zone. We eventually found out if we went to the Bush Gardens website and then like clicked on a couple different links we then got to the map for Hollow Screams. But there weren't any maps posted. There wasn't very much signage and we didn't really know where the food offerings were and the drink offerings so it was just kind of like we were wandering around. I think that would be one of the only negative things and I was kind of sad that the beer fest thing ended at 6 and we got in at 5 I was really looking, looking forward to like trying all that food but all in all guys if you have a chance go to Hollow Screams it's $30 you'll have a fun night it's seven hours in a theme park roller coasters scares actual scares because Universal scare zones really aren't that scary anymore they get like up in your face and it's like okay I know exactly what you're gonna do but I didn't know what the characters at Bush Gardens were gonna do to us so Alice and I were like always stressed out like what is gonna happen is someone gonna pop out of this tree we don't know but guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to see us go on more spoopy adventures, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I will send you a personal notification every single time I post a video. Guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. Stay spoopy. and I'm very confused on what this photo is. Is the man getting out of a colonoscopy?